got it, I got it. I got your number on the wall. I got it, I got it for a good time, for a good time call. Yeah. Good morning. Welcome to Vlogus. I said it right today, day nine. I am already en route to the office, heading into, you guessed it, the Dunkin' Donuts to get my iced coffee for the morning. Oh, what a line. Oh, I hate the fact that there's a line. I am playing the 80s channel this morning on my XM radio. So, let me fill you in on the scoop here. What I was talking about in yesterday's vlog with the, the issue with my car. So, I don't think I've mentioned it in any of the vlogs because it actually happened in July. But I got into a little fender bender at the end of July. Uh, there was a person who had pulled out into traffic. I was behind them and they carelessly backed out of the traffic so fast and basically rammed into the front of my tire or rammed into the front of my car and pretty much trashed my front left side here the bumper the front quarter panel the door one of the sensors everything's kind of all jammed in and stuff so i have been waiting for a response from the person who hit me from their insurance company they actually got ticketed for careless driving oh, hang on a minute i have to order my duncan to go no thank you can I get a medium size brown sugar cold brew with uh, no cream, no sugar, just a little bit of the French vanilla flavoring? Medium brown sugar cold brew, and you want French vanilla flavoring added to it as well? Yes, please. Any cream or sugar? You said no cream, no sugar. No cream, no sugar. Okay, right. Will that complete your order? Yes, it will. All right, you can fall right up. Thank you. You're welcome. So, he got ticketed for reckless driving basically and so I called my insurance guy my independent insurance rep which by the way if you are looking to get some really great customer support when it comes to insurance I highly recommend using a independent insurance rep so that they can uh, find you the best price on insurance best coverage uh, not just using one company Anyways, um, he suggested that I go directly, obviously, through this guy's insurance first so that my insurance doesn't get dinged, my insurance won't go up, and because he was at fault. Um, he is listed first on the accident report. He did get a ticket. So I have been waiting for a response from his insurance company. Is you know They had to process it through underwriting to make sure that he, um, you know, that that policy would is in effect and would um, cover my claim. I went camping, came back, still have not heard anything. So yesterday I called back the company and found out that this guy did not have active insurance. Hello. Hi. Thank you. Now what needs to happen is yesterday, I called back my insurance guy, and so now what he had me do is yesterday I had to attempt to track down the sheriff that actually filed the police report and stuff on the original accident. Uh, we have to have them update the file to say that he, was, he also was driving an uninsured vehicle. And I have to be able to provide my insurance company that updated police report because now what I have to do is I have to process everything using my insurance and then my insurance company is gonna go back and attempt to get reimbursed from him personally. Probably not gonna happen because of the fact that obviously if he didn't have insurance because he couldn't pay his premium, 
Uh, odds are he's not going to have money to pay out of pocket for any of the damage that's going to be on my car. So yesterday I drove around, finally found where the sheriff's office is. I dropped off everything there. The sheriff is supposed to call me back today. She may be stopping at the office to take a statement from me, etc. But what I need to do this morning now I need to get this process moving so I actually have to take my car down and get an estimate to find out how much it will cost to get it fixed and then just get that process moving with the claim uh, get a rental car I'm gonna be traveling in the near future and I can't obviously drive this car long distances with it I mean I don't mind bopping around town with this but I don't really feel comfortable driving long distances uh, with the damage that is done on the car. So that's the update on that. That's what ended up happening all yesterday afternoon when I was trying to figure out if we had softball or not. I was also trying to find where the sheriff's office is because according to Google Maps, it was one place and it wasn't there. It was at another place. Google needs to update their, their stuff because they have our sheriff's department at a different location. <laughs> Anyways, that's going to be it so far this morning. I'm just around the corner from the office. I'm going to go in, uh, take care of a few things this morning, call the body shop, and try to see if I can get an appointment later this morning to get the estimate done on my car. So, guess where I just went? <laughs> and now I'm getting ready to film a haul in my car. Ugh. So I literally just filmed a really quick Dollar Tree haul in my car. I think it's only gonna be like a four minute video. I just did it so fast because it's hot in this car, let's just face it. <laughs> but this is why I do Dollar Tree hauls in the car because then I can just go home, put my Dollar Tree stuff away, and I don't have to worry about bringing it upstairs into the YouTube studio, you know, um, having the time to, you know, wait, you know, if I didn't have time to film it, I wouldn't want to put the stuff away. I just like to go home. I just like to put the stuff away and be done with it. I have to crank the AC because it is hot. Ooh, what was that? I just ran over something. What did Joanne just run over? It looked like it was an empty cup or something. Joanne just ran over an empty cup filled with ice. Okay. <sighs> oh, I'm trying, I'm sorry, I'm trying to get cooled off. I'm like brushing the sweat, the gross sweat from my face. What happened was we had to wait. The cop had to come. The, the sheriff had to come. The sheriff filed the report. It's kind of scared me because he talked she talked to him like three times and barely talked to me at all and finally at when she was all done about 45 minutes later she came over to me gave me the piece of paper and she's like do you have any questions and I said yeah like what happened like he was at fault right she's like oh yeah he was at fault he's getting a ticket uh, you know he's listed first you know contact his insurance company first blah, blah 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 finally got in touch with them I still have not heard back from the sheriff I'll probably have to put a call into them tomorrow Today, that's where I had to go as I actually had to go get an estimate for the damage that was on my car and talk to my insurance person and handle all that stuff. So uh, that's all in process. That's all done. I was not injured in the accident, by the way. It was a very, you know, it wasn't like it was a fast moving in, in injury. It wasn't a fast moving accident. It was just he was backing up. He backed up fast, but he didn't have that much to move, if that makes any sense. So it's not like I got jolted back. I, my, my car did go back about 20 feet after he hit me, but um, I didn't, you know, have any back injury or anything like that. But the car did get damaged pretty well in this front corner of my car. I will insert some video footage so you guys can get an idea of the damage that was done on my car. Anyways, I'm off to head home for dinner and
totally up my alley. Kayla's saying hi, asking for a little doggy. Okay, Duders, say hello to Kayla. Duders, can you say hello to Kayla, please? <laughs> he's looking. Duders. This is the straightest that he's actually looked into the camera. <laughs> Look at that face. Dudes. He's got a snaggle tooth. You got a snaggle tooth, don't you, my daughter? <laughs> he is. You're so cute. Everybody just loves the duders. Everybody loves the duders. Okay, we'll let you lay down. You can go back to sleep. <laughs> there, I hope Kayla had enough duder time. What's your biggest fear? I don't know. My biggest fear, honestly, like just talking about like things in general, like not getting anything really deep, it's Ferris wheels. I think honestly, that's my biggest fear. Oh yeah, Rhonda, double Ferris wheel, forget about it. And here's the thing, the older the Ferris wheel it is, the worse it is for me. So like the Ferris wheel that's at Enchanted Forest, uh, which is a really old Ferris wheel, by the way, I die. Like the last time I took my kids on there, I was dying. I am not 100% sure if I am going to vlog anymore tonight. So on that note, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end this vlog today. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Mostly today it was in the car, wasn't it? I hope you enjoyed the video. You guys be awesome, enjoy the rest of your day. And I'm gonna chat with you tomorrow in my next vlog. Bye guys.